You know what? I know what I need. Okay. Hold on a second. Much better. Okay, so. Today. A lot of my videos are about the Daytona, you know, what we're going to do to her, blah, blah, blah. Well, today, it's a video about the Silverado. I know some of you guys probably get bored with my Silverado, but we are replacing these lights today. Um, as you can see, the truck really needs a wash, so I will be doing that. Um, I really like these lights and I don't know how well you guys can see it with the freaking sun on them. I really like these lights but they are weird for Silverado, Silverado lights because see the projectors are supposed to be on the top which is usually how they are because the Silverado top light is your uh, low beam and the bottom one's your high beam. The way these are set up, it's the low is or the the lower one's my low beam, and that's my high beam. Um, I don't even remember now how these were. So, anyways, I didn't even pay attention to see if the new ones are the same way or if they're the way the originals were supposed to be. But uh, let's get started. We're going to take these apart, take the front off, and. I am definitely going to have to figure out what I'm doing with these fog lights, but uh, let's get started. Okay, <clears throat> yep, just like I said, see how the projector is down here on the bottom, on the, the correct way. It's up here on the top, I don't know, the sun's kind of bright right now at this angle. But anyways, so, here's the old, they got the halos, the new, they got the... U more of a U shape so I think these new ones honestly look pretty dang cool um, <clears throat> this will be nice to see on the truck when it's done um, I should just wash the truck but anyways this is what you can see on the maybe you can't see it I don't know you can see that it's Healing. I don't know what that is. Sorry if you guys can't see it very well. You can see it better when I stand above it. I don't know what it is, but um, it's definitely not supposed to be doing that because there was not a plastic film over this when I got it. You know, maybe it's because I pulled the plastic film off that was on these when they came. So honestly, I don't know what it is. As you can see, um, these just look better. But uh, they're aftermarket. They're not all that expensive. Easy to just swap them out and put new ones on. But the joy of at these aftermarket ones, I've never had to do this before, and I don't know why with these, I have to wire them in. Yeah, that's a wiring nightmare. So I'm just going to basically swap them, swap them over, but I use these uh, little, uh, what do you call them, little shrink tubes, little rubber shrink tubes to seal up the wires so they don't corrode, but I'm going to get started with that and you will see them over here next, alright. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see all this. It's getting a little bit darker. You have no much, no idea how much time has passed. <laughs> I ran into some difficulties, but we got the fog lights in. Let's turn it on for you. We gotta hurry, because she's gotta take the truck. They didn't all quite go in like I wanted it to. As you can see, they're pretty bright. But uh, I'm going to put the grill back in and I'll give you one final shot. But uh, yeah, these things are pretty cool. I like that. 
obviously haven't cleaned up the tools yet, but here's the view. Man, those things look pretty nice. <clears throat> down just a little bit that way they're not up Man, does that look good mm. probably should do like that yeah we'll go about right there all right that look even yeah there you guys have it there's the last view got the new lights in uh, if you don't like to do wiring I wouldn't suggest do these because uh, these were a pain in the butt but uh, they look good there you guys have it there's the new headlights thank you guys for watching and have yourselves a great day